Hey, how's it going fight fans? Welcome to Mindful Combat. If it's the first time you've checked out my channel or any of my content, why don't you consider sticking around and helping me grow my fight platform by hitting the subscribe button and getting involved in the conversation below. So for this video, I'm going to be breaking down an upcoming key light heavyweight fight between former three-time light heavyweight world title challenger Alexander Gustafsson and former a one-time light heavyweight title challenger Anthony Smith. This is kind of a key and pivotal fight in the UFC 205 division for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's really going to show us what we can expect from Gustafsson going forward at this stage of his career. After losing to John Jones, that was his third loss in a key and important light heavyweight world title fight. And that pretty much sealed he's not going to be a light heavyweight champion in, this, uh, in his career. He's after that spoken about A retirement and B moving up to heavyweight, which I thought wasn't a bad idea. I felt like he has some skills that could translate well to heavyweight and I'll be interested to in see how he does there. Opposing him and um, against him is Anthony Lionheart Smith. Anthony Lionheart Smith is probably on the best run of his career, even though he is coming off a loss to John Jones. He fought for the light heavyweight title on the back of three straight victories in the light heavyweight division. He had the consistency that you hadn't seen before. And even against Bones Jones, I was expecting him to get absolutely blown out. But it's not fair to say he did, even though he got dominated for five rounds and at no point would I have say, said he's winning. I was actually expecting him to get finished in the first round or like second round or something, you know, kind of brutal like that. And um, he stuck around, he showed his tough, he showed a lot of heart by not taking the easy way out and getting a DQ win. But then that's what you expect from a guy named Lionheart. So so let's get into this breakdown. I'm going to go through the, um, through, the, through the table of the tape and we can talk about the significance of these numbers whilst I'm, uh, whilst I'm going through it. So Alexander Gustafsson is 32 years old. He's fighting Anthony Smith, who's 30 years old. They're both experienced veterans in the game. They've both been around for a while. And I think they're both... The thing, the difference here in their ages is not just the two years. It's about mindsets. Because Alexander Gustafsson has spoken about retiring. He's, he's been inactive for certain years. And you know what I mean? He's talked about going up to a different weight class. Is his heart fully in it? Is he at that stage of his career where... Okay, 32 is not that old, particularly at light heavyweight, but where is he right now? Then you've got Anthony Smith, who's 30 years old, and although he's vastly more experienced in terms of fights, uh, he's still very hungry. You can tell he very much still wants to be doing this. I think he's at the best form of his career, and he's probably making the best money he's made in his career, so he ain't going nowhere. So there's not really a big difference there. Actually, um, Alexander Gustafsson coming into this fight has a record of 18-5. and five. Obviously, as I've mentioned, he's had the three world title fights. He's had some main events other than this. He's had a lot of high-level exposure in his 23 professional fights. Anthony Smith has 31 wins and 14 losses. Now, don't let his um, high amount of losses fool you. He took a lot of losses early in his career. I think at one point in his career, he was at five wins and seven losses. So, I mean, with that taken on board, he's gone, what, 26 and seven since then. That's not bad. And more recently, he's had even more consistency. So, so in terms of experience as well, they've both had main events, they've both had high-profile fights, they've both had world titles, the there or thereabouts is a great match. Alexander Gustafsson has a 79-inch reach, which is 3 inches more than um, Anthony Smith's 76-inch reach. He also has 2 inches on height on Anthony Smith, standing at 6 foot 5, as opposed to Anthony Smith's 6 foot 3. Some of their key wins. Alexander Gustafsson is one, has been one of the pivotal players in the UFC light heavyweight division over the last five, five, six years, longer than that, for the last, say, decade. He's got wins over the likes of Glover Teixeira, in, um, which is his most recent win in April 2017, which was incredible and impressive. He's beaten guys like Jan Blachowicz, he's beaten uh, Thiago Silva, back when Thiago Silva was still considered a killer. He's beaten uh, Mauricio Shogun, who are... Uh, a long while back, we're talking 2012 Shogun Hua. So, you know, this is a good Shogun Hua. He's beaten um, Jimmy Manuel when Jimmy Manuel was undefeated. That's a key win there. Anthony Smith, he's he's got some key wins, but I would say his best win is probably Volkan Ujime in a tough fight. He, um, Volkan Ujime is a top contender. You know what I mean? Like, he's beaten guys like Shogun Hua and Rashad Evans, Hector Lombard who probably have a higher profile name than Volkan Ujdemir, but they were at the tail end of their career, so you can't really consider them as some of the best in the divisions, if you know what I mean. So, so I would say definitely Gustafsson has the more key wins. Some of the issues. Um, Alexander Gustafsson, when you're thinking about his issues, it's got to be his desire to fight. Does he want to fight anymore? Does he want this anymore? When a guy speaks about retirement, it really sends warning alarms to me like I think to myself what the hell's going on here does he even want to do this anymore he's also shown to be hittable uh, particularly recently he, he was susceptible to the kicks by John Jones and he was he turned into a pressure fighter so it's about mind frame and if he can be hit for Gustafson for Anthony Smith 
I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but I still don't believe Anthony Smith is world class. And for all Augustus' shortcomings, he is absolutely world class. That's got to be considered as an issue. Also, with um, Alexander, um, with Anthony Smith, I don't feel like he has a complete, well-rounded game like Alexander Gustafsson does, and I think that's going to impact him. The X factor coming to this fight for me uh, with uh, with Alexander Gustafsson is definitely going to be his movement and his technical boxing. He's got a uh, great technical boxing. He's obviously got um, a past history in amateur boxing. He was a great boxer. He lit up John Jones once upon a time on the feet and. You know, he's got really good movement, really beautiful movement. So John uh, Alexander Gustafsson, motivated at his best, is an incredible fighter. And then you've got Anthony Smith. Uh, he carries a lot of power in his, um, in his strikes. He's obviously gotten um, two, two straight finishes over Rashad and um, Shogun Hua, which were very impressive. And then he's still very hungry, very motivated. He's still loads of stuff he wants to achieve. My prediction for the fight... Anthony Smith is not a guy who's going to come out there and go for a takedown in this fight. He's going to want to strike with Alexander Gustafsson. I feel like Alexander Gustafsson is going to engage him in a striking battle. However, I do think feel like Alexander Gustafsson is going to stay on his toes and he's going to box and he's going to manoeuvre. I feel like when they're getting really close, Alexander Gustafsson is going to use his wrestling. Let's not forget Volkan Ujdemir took Anthony Smith down and Alexander Gustafsson took Daniel Cormier down. There's a huge discrepancy in their wrestling and defensive wrestling skills I don't think are going to be there for Anthony Smith, even though Gustafsson isn't what you would consider a wrestler. So I'm going to go with Alexander Gustafsson to get a unanimous decision victory because Anthony Smith is tough as hell. I don't think he's going to get knocked out, put away or quit. I think he's going to ride this out. I think he's going to be in this fight all the way to the end. And of course, the usual disclaimer, he might land a he might just punch him in the face. That could happen. But if I'm going to make an educated prediction, it's going to be that Alexander Gustafsson is going to outbox him for five rounds. When they're getting close, I feel like he's going to use his wrestling to take it down. And he's going to use his kicks when he's at a distance. You know, he's got that good straight front kick up, up the middle that will probably find um, Anthony Smith's chin, chin a couple of times. Anthony Smith's cast iron chin, that is. Well, I mean, not cast iron, but it's got a very sturdy, sturdy, durable chin. That's my prediction, anyway. Anyway, fight fans, thank you for watching. If you like my content, like the video, like the breakdown, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Comment below, let me know what you think about my breakdown and how you see this fight going. And um, if, you're, if you're interested in helping the channel grow, then share this video between your friends, family, anyone that you know that might be interested in boxing, MMA, more so, and soon to be training blogs as well when I do get my fat self in the gym. So thank you, guys. Thanks for watching. Mind for combat.